Hi, this is Matt, and today we're talking about My Soul Delights in the Things of the Lord. This is Second Nephi chapter 4. Nephi begins this chapter by reiterating some of the words of his father. In verse 1, he says, I, Nephi, speak concerning the prophecies of which my father hath spoken concerning Joseph, who was carried into Egypt. For behold, he truly prophesied concerning all his seed, and the prophecies which he wrote, there are not many greater. And he prophesied concerning us and our future generations, and they are written upon the place of brass. So, we, we talked about this a little last time, but why would Joseph of Egypt prophesy about the Nephites? Why did he care? Well, they are his posterity, and he definitely cared about them. He had some skin in the game, as we say, and so we know that the Nephites had the Old Testament, but they also had more than just the Old Testament because they had all the writings of the Jews down to the time of Jeremiah. Not everything made it into the Bible, and so they have writings that, that we don't have in our current version and uh, Nephi, of course, sharing his, his testimony that what Joseph said is absolutely true. He then shares his father's words. Lehi is, is speaking to each of his sons individually, to their children, and kind of saying his final words. Uh, he's getting old, of course, and after he um, finishes speaking to everyone, Nephi reports that he does pass away and is buried and within days, Nephi's brothers are again at his throat. They want to they kill him. And so we see Nephi in kind of a rare low spot. We sometimes refer to this as Nephi's lament. I won't read the whole thing but at all, but it shows that even though Nephi had great power given him by God, even though he saw miraculous visions, had amazing uh, knowledge and things taught to him, he feels the agony of, of just this this mortal flesh that we live in and he's you know feeling feeling a little depressed but he ends the chapter with these words starting in verse 33 O Lord wilt thou encircle me around in the robe of thy righteousness O Lord wilt thou make a way for mine escape from before my enemies wilt thou make my path straight before me wilt thou not place a stumbling block in my way but that thou would clear my way before me and hedge not up my way but the ways of mine enemy O Lord, I have trusted in thee, and I will trust in thee forever. I will not put my trust in the arm of flesh, for I know that cursed is he that puts, putteth his trust in the arm of flesh. Yea, cursed is he that putteth his trust in man, or maketh flesh his arm. Yea, I know that God will give liberally to all that asketh. Yea, my God will give me, if I ask not amiss. Therefore, I will lift up my voice unto thee. Yea, I will cry unto thee, my God, the rock of my righteousness. Behold, my voice shall forever ascend up unto thee, my rock and my everlasting God. So I invite you, like Nephi, to put your trust in God. And until next time, happy reading.